Yo, what's up? What's up? This is your boy Toe, Click Seva Comics. <laughs> Yo, I wasn't sure if I could do the I could do the um from down here, but I think I can. Let me see. Let me see something. Oh yeah, there we go. No, I need to be able to see myself. So, like I said before, I figured, you know what? Let's let me show you the stuff that I have in my collection and, and why I have it and how I have it, how I came to, how I came about having it. And uh, we'll do that, okay? All right, you cool with that? All right. So let me put some music on. Oh, we gotta put a funky beat on before. So check this drum track out. runs out because I haven't looped it. So here's what I'm going to do. Give me a second. Let me loop this. Let me loop this. Let me see if I can loop this. Right. Work with me. Yo, this is what makes this is fly because I'm going to try to loop the beat real quick. So here's my, here's my comic book collection of Marvel. But I think we'll start with the Marvel stuff first. Uh, the letter A, of course, all my A comic, which is not a lot. You know, it's mostly Avengers and Ant-Man. Not nothing major, but I thought maybe I could show you, you know, what I've collected over the years and what I got. Uh, excuse me. Uh, but let me um, let me um, let me set up a loop real quick before we get started. Okay, check this out. This is all live, man. It's all this is all funky effect, and not live like live live. But you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna edit anything. Cause this is how I live. So hold on. Alright. Alright, let's see something. Oh, let me let me turn the volume up. Okay, wait a minute. Oh. Okay, we loop it right there. No, that's not good. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. That's the loop. Okay, so that's the funky beat. So, yo, um... Wearing one of my cool hats that I got from, uh... The dugout on Castle Hill. The dugout, the dugout! So let me show you a couple of comics I got, you know, real quick. So. This is cool. Look at this. It's called Comics 101. Let me turn this down. This is called Comics 101. And basically, it's just a, 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 a little news paper guy that used to come out back in, a while back. I think they still make it. And they did this little Comics 101 joint. I said, ooh, I got to have that. And yo, I was, I think, I don't know about you, but I put it in plastic because, yo. Anybody that ever gets my collection one day, they're gonna get this. And you don't know how to collect comics and what to look for and everything like that. I just thought it was cool. I don't know. Ah, Avengers. Avengers Log. Check that out. All right, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. I'm just gonna show you what I got. Age of Ultron. Dark Avengers, which I never got into actually. Some old joints I got from back in the day. Some back in the day joints. Ha <laughs> ha. Avengers vs. Avengers. Crazy fresh. I used to love those giant size. Yo, when I was a kid, oh, I loved the giant size, the king size. I don't know what it is about the king size, giant size comic books, but I love those things. I love to collect those. I had a lot of them back in the day, but, you know, like I said, when I was a kid growing up, I sold my collection. Uh, because I thought I had outgrown comics and I was done with it. And realized I was never really done with it. I never really outgrown it. I, I sold my first collection. I had a collection from when I was like eight or nine. Um, from like 73 to like seven, like 80. 
I sold all those comic books to a comic book shop back in the day and got pretty, pretty much got got robbed. And uh, that's it. Got robbed, you know. You know, you you just don't do that. You know, don't do that, man. If you got comic books from when you was a kid back in the seventies, the sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties, don't take them to a comic book shop. Do not. Take your comic to a comic book shop because they're going to they're going to they're going to lowball you. I would say take the time, catalog your stuff, and uh, you know, hey man, sell them if you want to sell them, but don't 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 take them to no comic book shop because they're going to lowball you. No no disrespect to the stash in Jersey, but. Yo, I, I, yo, I be, I be going crazy whenever they go up to that dude in the stash. He be like, oh, I can't play that prize. And he want a low boy because I can't sell it. I understand business. I get it. But, nah. Don't. And I miss the days, man. Back in those days when I was collecting these. Oh, John Byrne was the man. George Perez was the man. He was killing the Avengers. Ooh, John Byrne was killing the Avengers. The artwork, the storylines was crazy. I loved it, man. I loved, I loved, I, Avengers was my shit. Pete, Pete, my boy Pete, he was the Avenger fan. He was the Avenger nut. He was the Avenger nut. He was the Avenger man. You know, he got us into the Avengers. The Avengers. This is a dope name, the Avengers. You can't front. Avengers. You know, so these are books that I, you know, for my that's in my collection. Nothing special, nothing crazy. You know, I don't have any golden, not a golden age stuff. But I'm gonna show you things over time that I have, and uh, let me know what you think. What I got? Um, do I got anything that's uh, interesting? Do I got anything that's valuable? But again, it's I don't care if it's valuable. I care more about the interests of the comic. The significance of the issue. For example, Hulk 181. Everybody that I see on YouTube goes bananas over Hulk 181. So I want to know if you see anything interesting in here that, you know, in my collection over time. Because if you notice, we're in box A. Box A. So I got B E F G H. O S S S T W T W X. You know, so I, we're going to show you everything I got, so you guys can see what I got. My hat's going crazy, right? It gets low and low. And then, uh, you know, I don't know. Just hit me up, man. Let me know what's up, man. You know, my my days of really hardcore collecting are pretty much over. But collecting comic books and loving them to me is two different things. I collect comics, but I love comics, man. I love comics. No sweat, man. I love them. I love the way you read. Oh, Avengers Forever. This was, a, oh, man, this was a series that really brought me back, man. I felt the vibe. And, yo, Pacheco, his style was crazy. But later on, I started watching him, like, change up when he went to Superman and everything. He, he, he lost his flavor, his fluid style. Yo, I was like comparing him to like Gil Kane, Salbacima. Yo, what the hell? Pacheco, then I saw a Pacheco book where he did a uh, Carlos Pacheco. Yo, his style just like, it just flipped, man. It just wasn't the same. It didn't have the same fluid, same flavor. And I have all those Fantastic Fours that he did, and I'm gonna show you those later. But you gotta admit, Carlos Pacheco, as an artist, yo, his style was sick. His flavor, yo, I could I could see elements of Sal Basima, Gil Kane. I could see it, and then all of a sudden, over time, it just changed. But I'm glad I caught him at the at the at the peak of his style. Ooh, I'm glad I got these, because these are like, oh, man, these make me feel like I collected joints from the 80s and the 70s. Oh, Carlos Pacheco, man. Yo, Carlos, if you out there, you see this, son, I'm going to put you up in the joint. 
Yo, get back to that fluid, that flavor, smooth inky, man. Yo, they're killing your work, son. They're killing your work. Ant-Man. Care front. I'm the Ant-Man, son, but I ain't tiny, dude. Don't get it pissed. So, yo, I'm out. This is, oh, it's 10 minutes. This shit gonna die out. So, yo, I love you guys. Keep the comments. Later, 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 later.